Good morning, it's self-care Sunday. Guys, we're doing another Sunday vlog, Sunday reset, self-care Sunday. I I'm just so thankful to wake up. It's sun, sunny out. I got to sleep in till like 10.30. And I don't have necessarily a lot of plans. I don't have plans today. I'm just gonna like see how the day goes. Might go for a walk with some friends. Might go to a diner with Ryan for breakfast this morning. But I do have some things that I want to get done on this lovely Sunday, like doing laundry, cleaning, um, just doing things that make me feel good. Just a good start to the day, so I just got out of bed, I'm wearing my cozy uh, robe. I'm gonna play some music. I stroll the whole nine yards. It's Sunday, so I always upload a video on Sunday, so I'm just going to get that done really quick. Normally, I already have it scheduled, but I'm a little behind today. But anyways, welcome to a Sunday, a self-care Sunday vlog. To get the vibes right, we're gonna start by playing this album, this 2005 Jack Johnson album. I listen to it all the time in the morning and it's just feeling like that kind of morning. I'm gonna grab the ice roller. I'm gonna use this one today, my CNA Confidential one. This one's great, it gets really cold really fast but then it kind of fades whereas that one from Amazon stays more consistently cold. So it's up to your decision. The vibes must be set. This candle from Goop literally smells so good. You have to go smell it. Just trust me on this one. And then also this one called After Party from The Coop. <laughs> We've got The Coop and The Goop. I think my lighter is um, just about done, so I guess I need to put that on my list of things to do today, get a new lighter. Ah! All right, I got it lit. Yay, this one is Black, Amber, Tonka, and Oud, Oud. Smells incredible. Grabbing my computer and my blue light glasses because I don't love to go on my computer right when I wake up, but since I want to get my video up, obviously, um, I need to make sure my blue light glasses are on so it's still not harmful to my eyes. And then lastly, as you can see, my voice, or as you can hear, my voice is really hoarse right now. I just woke up with my first words. So I'm going to try and chug this water and then obviously, like, get some more after this. Well, it's either that or one in Brooklyn. And then, and then hopefully tonight doing something for St. Paul. <laughs> Set up shocked. All right, about to make this video live. I love how this thumbnail turned out. Making it public. Save, yay. Ryan's here. No. <laughs> He's ready for breakfast. He's like eating a banana. I was like, sorry. One moment. Ryan, we're having a self care Sunday. I don't know if you heard. Does that involve breakfast? Yes, that involves the Dyna breakfast. Let me just figure out something to wear up in here. I haven't made my bed yet. Don't judge me. I felt like I needed some veggies right now. <laughs> Buying some celery. Oh, and romaine lettuce. Yeah, that's a good snack. Yum, yum, yum. Thanks for holding it. I just want some fresh food in my body. I feel like I haven't had much of that, you know? We got some juices. Got some greens. Yum, yum. All right, we're back now. And on our walk back, ran into two um, podcast listeners, Kimmy and Abby, and they were so sweet. They were so, oh my God, one of them's in town for the weekend. And she was like, I just wanted to run into you. And I'm like, wow, that's so crazy that we actually ran into it. And I guess one of them had already met Brooke before. They were like, I'm Brooke, I'm the Danielle. Like, that is so crazy. Like, I've met people that are like, I feel like I'm the Brooke and she's the Danielle in our friendship. I'm like, that is so, like, awesome. That's the thing. Um, 
So, and Ryan was there too, so that was just a really great way to start the day. Um, I'll show you guys what I got at Union Market. I literally just like am craving vegetables. On the weekends, I tend to just like not really eat vegetables. <laughs> I'm fine with it, but I'm just like craving some freshness. Literally just a snack on them. I'm, I'm a rabbit. <laughs> um, I got some celery, romaine lettuce, and since I don't use salad dressing, I literally just like eat this. I'll like wash it and eat it. Snap peas. The juice that I'm drinking right now, it's a Suja Mighty Dozen green drink. Two more ginger sh shots. Oh, I should have got ingredients to make ginger shots. Oops. And then cantaloupe. I love cantaloupe. I'm a melon gal. So I'm gonna put all this away. Um, I need to run the dishwasher. My video's up, people are liking it. Um, but yeah, oh, shout out these pants, by the way. These are the booty boost like flare pants from Spanx. I'm like a big Spanx girl right now. They're so cute and they just hug you in, but very flattering on the bootay. So I will link these below for you guys if you want. This is also from Zara. I get questions about this tank. So, oh, I left my ice roller out. That means it's not very cold right now. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a good look at my apartment right now. There is stuff everywhere just in all kinds of corners my bed it's just a whole thing let the cleaning montage begin Just cleaned the apartment, about to take those boxes out when I go. This is the hanger from my jacket right now. Laundry's a going right now. Counters are clean, feels good. I still need to tackle the corners, but we have more in the day. Um, I'm headed for a walk with my friend Emily. We're walking on West Side Highway, and I've actually never walked the West Side Highway because I'm on the east side. She lives in the West Village, so she goes all the time, and I was like, one of these days I'm gonna go with you. So I'm going with her today. Pretty much wearing the same thing as earlier. I just added this fanny pack from H&M. It's just amazing. I can just put it all right here. I really am struggling with these light jackets because it's like almost 60 degrees, but this is super light and we're gonna be by the water. So I feel like it might be a little colder. So jacket is from Princess Polly, like last year, but it's from the brand Lioness. Headband is from Jurf Avenue. Then I'm wearing my Hoka sneakers, of course. So we're gonna go for a walk, a little hot girl walk. I'm very excited. Hopefully it's really nice and I wanna go again because walks are so good for the soul but we must take a ginger shot first. I still can't get over how many beverages are in my fridge compared to um, <laughs> food. Let's see, where's my ginger shot? I'll do this. Actually, no, I have my pressed one back here. These are really freaking strong. Whew, let's do it. Ginger shot a day, baby. All right. Cheers to our health, feeling good. <laughs> That feels great. Whoa. Whoa, that one's spicy. All right, I'm here with Emily. Oh, you look so cute. I'm on my first walk. This is very fun. I feel very cool right now. I'm walking on West Side Highway, baby.
Glennon. I needed another top sheet and then I bought their incense because it smells amazing and a little incense holder. My friend Morgan said she's on a walk nearby. So she's gonna stop by and we're gonna walk together. It's so beautiful out. And meat packing now. It's so crazy how you can go from like West Village. I'm with Morgan now to meat packing so easily. The Sephora's over here somewhere. Oh, the Sephora's over there. Where? Um, over there. So we're gonna just do that. I really wanna try the Refi brow gel. Love a spontaneous day. I just kind of went out and here we are. I found it. It's the um, clear illuminating like brow gel. Very excited about this. Just got back. I'm just doing more laundry. Moved the stuff to the dryer. Did my whites. Now I'm doing my darks. Life is together a little bit, kind of to buy more detergent. Um, I'll show you guys what I got today. It was just so cool. I literally ran into so many people on the street. Ran into Kit on West Side Highway, of course. She always talks about walking there, but it was just so funny. She was like, Danielle. And I was like, of course you're here. I love that. Ran into another girl that I knew from Georgia. And then Morgan, obviously. It was just fun. My legs are literally jello now, though. I'm like, <laughs> I walked so much. So from Brooklyn in, I got a top sheet, obviously. And then I got this Get A Room, um incense sticks and it has black pepper sage palo santo vetiver mandarin lavender and pink grapefruit and then i got this incense holder here i'll just open this right now so this is the incense holder i think it goes with the vibes in my apartment pretty well the girl said that was helping me that she has this and loves it oh these are black incense sticks very chic i like grew up with my mom always burning incense so i was like Kind of feels like a part of home having these um and it's a great way to like cleanse your apartment too i feel like so i'm gonna put it here because sometimes the um incense as it falls like i don't really want it to get on my furniture so we'll see but so you basically light it at the end but then you let it burn so i'm gonna blow it out or sometimes it just does it on its own and then it just goes throughout your apartment. I really hope it doesn't set my smoke alarm off. I don't think it should, because um, it's more of like aromatic, but it smells. This is a unique scent. I like this a lot. This screams Sunday self-care, especially like let's say you had a pregame or something here the night before, or you just want to cleanse the space. I feel like incense is a great way, or if like your apartment or house, whatever smells bad from like cooking, or it just smells very potent, like let's say you made seafood or something, um, I find that incense really helps kind of erase that. So I can't believe I haven't had any in my apartment till now. I love it. Is it extra to also burn my candles? Cause I think I'm gonna do that. Like why not? And I always get complimented. Every time someone walks into my apartment, the first thing they say is it smells good. And that is like all I can personally ask for. So we love that. Setting the vibes. Sunday nights are like some of my favorites. And then like I was showing you guys, we stopped by Sephora and I got the Refi Brow Sculpt Gel. Apparently it gives that like lamination effect on your brows without actually getting your brows laminated and it just holds them in place. So let's try it right now, I'm just very curious. All right, so I don't have a mirror, but I also am not wearing makeup, so this might look funky. All right, so it's clear, it's not colored or anything. Whoa, ah, lots of product, hold on. Oh boy, I feel the stickiness. Okay, this is probably a bad idea to do without a mirror, but oh my god. Oh, look what it just did to my brow. It looks so full and like snatched. If brows can look snatched. Okay, I don't like how that white residue comes on it, but maybe it'll go away. Okay, don't judge. I literally don't have a mirror right now, but oh my gosh. Like, this is so worth the hype. I mean, it just put my brows in their place. All of a sudden, I have an arch in my brow, and they're, like, staying there. It's, like, sticky. Wow. Okay. Um, you heard it here first. You need to try this out. I'll link it below. Refi. I will say, when I walked into Sephora, I, like, didn't see a Refi section. Most Sephoras don't have one. They just ha So I had to ask. There's, like, a... You know, like at the end of each aisle, there's like little brands. There's like a, there's one where there's like a ton of little brands that only have a few products. So they only sell the Refi brow products, which makes sense. So you have to ask if you can't find it, but, or I'll link below for you guys if you don't want to go in store. Approved. 
So something I never thought to do until now, this is like my little dish drying rack if I'm just hand washing something. And it was getting dirty, but it's like kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit more firm, like it's like structured. So I thought it'd be weird to put in the wash, but I did and it looks amazing. Cause I was like, you know, it is something I put on my counter every day. So you want it to look like, you know, good. And I wash my counter and it looks so much better. So this is your sign to wash your drying mat if you don't already. I was gonna, my hydrangeas died. I literally bought them the other day at Whole Foods. So I don't know if I'll be buying flowers from Whole Foods anytime soon. That was a little upsetting. Uh, and I was gonna get myself some more flowers today cause I feel like that's a self care moment, but I am going back out of town again on Wednesday and I'll tell you guys more about that later, but so it just feels silly cause today's already Sunday. I pulled out my dinner ingredients. It's not even six yet, but I'm pretty hungry. So we're gonna do my good old chicken rice and broccoli meal. This is the Trader Joe's frozen rice. It's so easy, just pop it in the microwave, literally as is face down. I'm gonna make broccoli on my pan and then also gonna make this in the pan. And it's a very great combo, very filling too. You know, the industry, I'm trying to think of, I mean, every for one, baby. So delicious, yum, yum, yum. I have Younger playing, that's been my new show that I watch while I do things. Just took my whites out, I'm gonna fold those. Things are happening, I'm just doing another load of dishes um, from my dinner, like, and there, cleaned, unloaded, things are good. A couple things here that I wanna air dry, I'll hang those up. About to do my last load here, but I wanna show you guys, I've talked about these, I got these like dryer balls, and what I do before I pop them in, I spray some of this Le Labo Suntal 26 home spray on the ball. <laughs> Don't mind my show. Um, and I find my clothes just smell amazing. And I already have another one in there, but I just forgot to tell you guys about it. So yeah, we're gonna reset this guy. And boom, productive. I've got my gals on the go zip up hoodie on right now. It's so comfy and I'm just getting cold in my apartment. Clearing out this corner, I just cleared out that corner. It feels very good. Um, I just had random stuff that I was gonna maybe bring to Kaba or stuff I got in the mail or just random stuff. So it all needs to go in the closet, in a drawer. Everything has a place, believe it or not. I really try. The only thing I can't figure out what to do is with these totes. I could probably put them in my coat closet, but they always just seem to gather there, I don't know. Also, update on my drawers. I sent a photo to the clothing, or the clothing, the furniture company, One Kings Lane, and I showed them what happened, and I asked if they could fix it, because they're New York based, and they said they're sending me a full new console, which obviously I'm not complaining, but it's just until that comes, which I think is another month, I have these like sunken drawers, which is not a vibe, but very awesome customer service that they're gonna send a brand new one. Very cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get after this. Really dreading this. Laundry is done, so I'm gonna put on a show again and fold all of this. I thought it felt right to do a loops mask. This is the weekly reset. I will link these below, they're the best. I just love these masks so much because they're like this um, rubbery consistency in a way, so it doesn't drip down your face because some of the sheet masks I use, they're awesome, they have so much product in them, but then they're like dripping down, whereas this like stays on my face. Like I can do laundry and fold laundry while this is on, whereas most masks that I wear, I have to like lean back and make sure it doesn't slip off. I don't know, this is not sponsored at all. I just keep repurchasing these masks so they just feel so good. And I also just put on the Laneige um, lip sleeping mask. Love that. Kisses. <laughs> so we're gonna fold laundry. I'm listening to We Met at Acme right now. It's literally a New York City dating podcast, but I listen because I just love her and I like hearing her perspective on things. I don't know, it's really entertaining. I'm not dating in New York, but she's married, so it's fair, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. The corners of my apartment are cleared. My table looks clean, my counter looks clean. 
My bed is made, this corner is done, all the clothes on my bed are gone, they're in my closet hanging oh so soundly. Oh, fun fact, I have another, um, like, whatever, reed diffuser behind my mirror. I just like my apartment to smell very good, okay? <laughs> I have two, a couple of things air drying right here, I know. Very, very well done, I know. I think it's time to start winding down for the night, which means we're gonna make some hot tea, in specific, some sleepy time tea. I have a workout tomorrow morning. I don't usually work out on Mondays, but since I'm going out of town on Wednesday, I wanted to get a workout in, so I'm working out tomorrow. We're recording the podcast tomorrow. Doing a good amount of things tomorrow. So I wanna make sure I go to bed at a reasonable time tonight and um, just feel nice and well rested. I'll do this mug tonight. I love this one. It's from Anthropology, and it looks like letters in the subway, like the tiles, so I love it. I assume that's what it's supposed to be. It's what I've always kind of thought. <laughs> I'm seriously so happy I bought this smeg because I was just using the hot water for my Keurig, and I swear there was always, like, coffee, you know, bean residue in my tea, so it's been a great investment. It looks so good on my counter. I'll link it below. I got it on Amazon. I'm just gonna add a little half and half to this. Voila! So while I drink my tea, I thought I would share with you guys what I'm gonna be doing on Wednesday, which is when this video goes up. So, um, for my mom's birthday, I told her I would take her on a retreat. She's been begging to do like a mom daughter retreat of some sort. My mom has a lot of friends in the spiritual community, wellness, yoga. Um, she's been a yoga teacher for like 10 years, if you guys didn't know. Um, and one of her good friends is doing a retreat in Sedona, Arizona. I believe she's done it before. I'll give you guys more details after. I just obviously don't feel comfortable sharing it all right now. But I'm pretty sure it's a pretty small group. It's all women. It's some yoga, some meditation, some wellness, a lot of reflecting, I believe. And it's gonna be in Sedona, Arizona. So as you guys are watching this, I am traveling to Sedona. I'm meeting my mom there. So I know we have to fly into Phoenix and then we're getting a rent car. And it's like a two hour drive, but apparently the drive is beautiful. I've never been to Arizona, so I'm really, really excited. And I can't wait to share this with you guys. So yeah, the retreat is from Thursday to Sunday, so we're flying in a day early so that we can like, you know, enjoy a little time there. And it's not like they take your phones, like I'll have my phone and stuff, but I think during the day they obviously don't want us on our phones. So I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, I'm really hoping I get some clarity and just, not that I'm like in a predicament in my life, but I, I'm a little honestly stressed about this retreat and I know that sounds crazy and I'm so privileged that I get to go on this um, But as you guys can tell in my videos and on my on the podcast I talk about this I, I have a hard time relaxing sometimes and obviously like I can relax and watch some TV, but I Sometimes don't take that quiet time every day that I need um, I love my mornings and everything, but I feel like I'm always very stimulated So it'd be really nice to not be stimulated She like has a whole packing list for us So we have to bring like you know a notebook they want us to bring like an eye mask some other interesting things So I don't know exactly what the I know the itinerary is like from like there's gonna be like small little hikes and stuff I, I really don't know what we're doing. So I'm gonna be vlogging it um I doubt I'll vlog during the retreat because I want to respect the other women's privacy. I know there's a lot of other like mother duo daughter duos coming, which will be really nice. But yeah, I'm nervous. I'm so excited. I'm excited to spend this time with my mom. Um, it's like at a center every day, so we don't have to. We're not all staying at the same resort. My mom and I picked the resort that we want to stay at, so that's cool. And we'll have free time. We'll have dinners at night and stuff. I'm just so excited. I've literally never been to Arizona other than the airport for a layover, so I think it's gonna be. A really cool trip the weather's kind of random so I'm trying to figure out how to pack but yeah a lot of traveling is coming up um, and has been happening so I appreciate you guys stringing along with me and but I think it's gonna be really good for me and I'm just so so thankful that I get to give back to my mom like this and like take her on a retreat she was like if this goes well we should do it every year I'm like yeah let's see how this goes because I'm really nervous she's been on like a thousand retreats I've never done anything like this so it feels very big girl of me <sighs> so yeah that's my life update. I just thought I'd tell you guys. So when you're watching my Instagram stories, you're like, what, what, what? I feel like tonight's one of those nights where I feel pretty put together, AKA I'm gonna sleep in a pajama set. Does anyone else like this? <laughs> this is a pajama set I believe from Amazon. I got it when Kit had like a 
slumber party event with Amazon. They gave us all PJs and they're pretty great quality and they're light so I'm not like sweating when I go to bed. So I'm gonna put these puppies on. <laughs> Am I okay? Put these puppies on. Okay, I decided I kind of wanna like wash the day off. Sometimes before bed, like I'm not gonna wash my hair but I just like to take a warm shower to kind of wind down um, and play some relaxing music. So I think I'm gonna do that. So I like went for a super long walk today, probably a little sweaty. And tomorrow morning, I like I said, I have a workout, so I won't shower in the morning. So I feel like I should like shower, you know, I should do that. So we're gonna have a little relaxing shower moments. All about self-care Sunday. Really living to the theme of this video, I feel like. So I just got out of the shower. I'm in my PJs. I've got my towel little headband on to keep my hair out of my face. I should have a thousand percent done this. Before I showered, and I literally always forget, but I've got um, peach fuzz growing back here. Um, nothing wrong with peach, peach fuzz. <laughs> peach fuzz, but I find that my makeup applies better. My skin just looks nice and smooth when I do. So I use these, um, I think the brand's Tinkle from Amazon facial razors, and I just go about it on my face. So I'm gonna do that. It's a little at home dermaplaning. All right, face is. Shaven. <laughs> um, I love these naturally serious get pressed peel pads. I've had so many of these by now, and I'm just using that to cleanse my skin after just get all the peach fuzz out that might have stayed on my face. Yeah, I know a lot of my friends do it. You definitely don't have to. I just like to because it's literally easier for makeup application, and like, I don't know, I think it just gives a smoother look, but also, like, I love my peach fuzz so. It's up to you. <laughs> I'm just sharing with you guys my full self-care moment. <laughs> Next up, I've been trying this Face Gym Hydro Bound. Um, it's like hyaluronic acid. Just because my skin was super dry after Cabo. Um, I'm just putting this on my face. Thankfully, my nose has peeled a little bit this week, but not too bad. I was worried about that with the um, good old sunburn. <laughs> Then I'm using this Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Moisturizer, and I've been really liking this stuff. It applies really well, it's not too thick, and I think this also helps with my skin not getting super dry this week. Woo! We did it, we did the skincare of the night. Gonna close the medicine cabinet now, finish my hot tea, and then we'll brush our teeth, but gotta finish this guy first. All right, I'm gonna start winding down for bed. The first step I always do, I have these Amazon lights, I'll link them below. You can change the colors. I always set it to red. Um, and then when I get in bed, I'll hit this and it plays like relaxing music for 30 minutes. It's amazing, it's the hatch alarm. And then I'll read, um, but I'm not going to bed just yet, but I want to <laughs> upload these clips so that I can get this video to you guys on Wednesday. We're gonna put up the blinds, or put down the blinds, so I can sleep in darkness. <laughs> and it's nice and cozy in here. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this self-care Sunday video. I enjoyed making it for you guys. I love filming these Sunday videos, so hopefully you enjoy them. But yeah, my next video will be some days in my life in New York City. Uh, preparing for my retreat and we have a busy two days before I go to Arizona lots happening in the Cite, so that'll be fun um, and follow me on TikTok if you guys don't I've been having so much fun it's at Danielle underscore Carolyn and yeah then the video after that will be my Arizona vlog most likely so got my PJs on ready for bed I love you guys so much subscribe if you guys are new here and I'll see you soon bye toodles <laughs>